hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be putting together two separate, um, like, journeys in a way of when I went to Worcester to see my sister. Um, the first was more like full time and then the second was literally just like really recently like winter um, and I just thought I'd put them in the same video because I hadn't of edited the previous one. Um, so this is it. Um, I'm just going to put all the clips chronologically now um, and I'll come back at the end and say bye. So yeah. Enjoy. <laughs>
not too bad time. I thought I would do the little book haul whilst I'm here instead of waiting till I get home. Um, so yeah, that's why I'd show you um, what I picked up whilst I was in Worcestershire. First of all, I got um, Great Expectations by Charles Dickens. Um, this edition isn't like the most pretty, but it does have um, like illustrations in, um, which I thought looked quite nice. And it's in like really good condition. And yeah, this was in three for a pound. Um, the other two books I got was Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Tomorrow by Gabrielle Zevin and um, uh, like a Peter Swanson book um, in the, the deal um, by giving them to my sister because I picked them up for her. Um, but yeah, so that was like a 33p, which is bargain um then i also picked up i hear the Spun sunspot limit free by yuki Firmino. this is the only one that i have missing from this series but i haven't even started it yet but um i'm happy that i have it now so when i do get to read it i can maybe read it one in one go so i don't i'm not sure but um I'm super excited I found that and once again really good condition. Um then I went into another charity shop um and I got Amazing Grace Adams by Fran Littlewood. Um this was in the teen section, so it was 195, which is really good. Um but it's not really a teen book, it's it's like an adult book, it's like a woman that um sort of like um her life is just monotonous and then she's just like and I want to actually do something with my life um, and like run to it. Um, so I'm super excited to get to this. And once again, great condition. Oh, it's my receipt. So yeah. Um, then I got four books in the charity shop that I was doing four for 99p. Uh, I mean, two for 99p. Um, so they were like 50p each, basically. Um, I got Scorched Grace by Margot. Doughty? I'm sorry, I think, I'm not sure, but I really love the look of this. And once again, look, all of these ones are like completely brand new condition. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to get to this. Um, then I got uh, I Was Here by Gail Foreman. This one I was thinking like, did I pick this up before? Did I not? I can't actually remember. Um, I had to check my... Um, like spreadsheet that I put the new books I've got in um, <laughs> to see um, and I didn't already have it so I picked that up um, quite a short one cool. so I had to read that um, then I got The Diary of Blood by S.T. Gibson I really, really want to read this so badly in October but I've just got so many books I want to read so I'm not 100% sure if I will get to it or not but um, this is sort of Dracula inspired esque. I think it's like maybe like one of the like the wives or the, the girlfriends. So I'm not. I don't. I'm not sure. But um, loads of people love this, and hopefully I do too. And then finally, I got the Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what this is about. I just. So it was great condition and like witchy and like maybe I might read it like full season or maybe next year instead, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, this was interesting and that is the haul. I forgot, um, <laughs> actually um, yesterday because it was really raining like so torrential, um, the books I got and I might leave it and things I put in a bag and then put it in another bag. And then I didn't get it out now. But um, I actually got three more books, which was in three for a pound. Um, one I gave to my sister, uh, which was this um, mindfulness colouring book, and it had like nothing in, so great. Um, and then also I got one of like something for myself similar, it's called this And Relax. Create your way to happiness, pattern, colour, and live well. Just sort of like different. <laughs> 
things and stuff like you can color or like doodle and stuff i thought and it wasn't hasn't been used yet so yeah not bad for 33p um and then also i got the great gatsby by f scott fitzgerald because i've never read this and it's like great condition and really short and um i just thought why not um i want to read more like studied classics and stuff um just to see all the fuss is about you know um so yeah there also to add to my list morning from a really freezing cold morning um really misty as well in london um and we shall end today in worcester so yeah let's get the bus and then another bus and then a coach and then lots more buses <laughs> anyway yeah it's so freezing oh my god This behind me used to be the gap I used to work in when I lived here. I used to come here a lot, um, like after lectures and stuff, to go home bargains and get a coffee from Waitrose. So I thought I'd quickly come again because I don't used to be in Worcester yet and just have a little look around and show you because I miss it. Trip down memory lane. This one I'm in now is new. It's so pretty, look at like the massive tree. I've got a cafe upstairs. What it'll look.
So, um, this is the end now. Um, I got back home. Um, literally coming back was one of like the worst days like I've, I've had. Like it was just, it was really just constant, just stress upon stress and issues. Um, also I was really tired cause I hadn't like slept like much at all. Like most of the days I was up there. Um, and I was developing like flu like symptoms kind of a cold um and that just got worse over recent days as well um and yeah just nothing was going right and then to top it off um whilst i was waiting for my bus this was like at like 12 30 or something so it was really late um and this guy sort of like drops up to me and he's like demanding money and i'm like like i, I like I, I didn't know what to do like I, didn't, I was like I don't have anything sorry um and I was just trying to just like keep myself to myself I was just, just like really ill and just like done with it um and he was sort of like trying to look in my bag looking like my jacket pockets and things just like the money money really get up and get it up in my face um and I was just saying like I don't have nothing like like just please leave me alone um and then I don't I don't really know why but he like like with like this sort of like like a punch slap like my ear here and i was just so like thrown off i was like what like what is going on um but like thankfully um a bus came i sort of got on and i waited a little bit just like on there before to get my other bus um and i got away from like a similar situation it could have gone so so much worse so thankfully like that but i was just still a bit like shaken up um so yeah so just like be careful everybody um especially like late at night and just busy places as well um but yeah anyway i'm just trying to put that beside behind me and just think more positively but anywho um i thought i'd just quickly show you the books i got whilst i was in birmingham and worcester um and then say goodbye um because yep well that's not what happens at the end of these vlogs so yeah um there isn't really any chronological order anymore because i've just sort of mixed them up but anywho these are the books i got whilst i was away um uh, the first was as far as you'll take me by phil stamper i've got a couple of phil stamper's books but i haven't read any of them yet but um i'm just i serious like a ya queer book that's the blurb if you want to pause and read come on that'll be explaining the money um then i got stay gold by tolby mcsmith um i've got another book by them and um, that i haven't read yet um but this is another queer ya book um and um it just sounded interesting and i found them like cheap um then i got this that i wasn't i didn't know if i should get it or not because i read a couple of reviews of people that i follow on goodreads um and they was said it was a little bit boring but i've really got into my like thriller era recently and um i found this this is nine lies by peter swanson um and it was only a pound in a charity shop and when i got like back to my sisters i found out 
it was a signed copy thank you very much a pound for a signed copy thank you so even if it is boring or crap whatever i might be able to sell it on with a little bit extra i don't know but anywho um i'm excited to read this actually i mean i think it did sound quite interesting to me even though some people have said it's boring but we all have different tastes so we shall see um then i got these in the charity shop near where my sister lives um and they was 30p each and they're like literally brand new condition like literally the charity shops around that so good condition books um i got you and hidden bones by caroline keep kneeps um sorry i probably butchered that i'll just show you the first blur because the other one might have spoilers because they're part of the you series which i haven't watched on netflix but i really really want to watch um because I just think it sounds quite interesting, but I wanted to read the book first. So I think I'm going to read this maybe, um, and then maybe watch season one, and then maybe read this, watch season two or something like that. Maybe do like a video in 2024. 20, it's literally, wow, it's so soon. But anywho, I got them. Um, then I got um, If Tomorrow Doesn't Come by Jen St. Jude. It's another queer YA book. Um, uh, yeah. Literally, these were all in a, Bur in a Birmingham bookshop, and they had such a big section of, like, YA books. Um, and I was just stifling through to find <laughs> the queer ones. Um, so, yeah, that just sounds interesting. And look, that's such a pretty cover. I think it's, like, a little bit dystopian, yeah. Um, then I got um, this, which literally just recently came out, and I found it in a charity shop. It was, like, £3, which was a little bit Thing, but like originally it's 49.99 it literally just came out so literally i think someone just like bought it and maybe just was like no not for me and gave it straight away because look at the condition great uh, but this is the dali grut dream department store by my my lee um translated from korean by sandy junsun lee um this just sounds so so interesting i cannot wait to get to this um and also that cover is beautiful so yeah really excited for that one um then penultimately because i'm saving the best to last wow there's like a sorry there's like a helicopter right outside and it looks like really flashing lights and stuff but anyway um, i got walking through clear water in a pool painted black title of the century um by the <laughs> Um, I was literally so close to saying by the Cookie Monster. <laughs> oh my god, I was literally, yeah. Okay, it's not by the Cookie Monster, no, it's by Cookie Mella, Miller. Um, but yeah, this is a, uh, <laughs> this is, um, Collected Stories by the Cookie Monster. So I'm excited to read that. Um, that's the blurb. Um, it's sort of in New York um about like the 80s and um also deals with like the age crisis a bit as well um which i've really gone into reading more books in that era um which i just cannot wait to get to read this and see how it compares i guess i don't know whatever but anyway super super excited for that um and then um before i show you the final book because it's, it's really it's one that i was found i was like instantly just like I need you in my life. Um, I just thought I'd show you some free bookmarks I picked up. I don't know. Um, this one, which is like a little bit like medieval themed. I don't really know what it is. Uh, it's from Mind Forest Press, um, which apparently like does these things. Uh, but yeah, I think you can like, you can fold it and like it can go like that. But I'm just going to keep it like that for now. Um, and then I got this little book about um, this like little um, pamphlet about supporting like local bookshops um, and these two was in there, it's about the bookshop day, celebrating big and small, I don't really know exactly what it is but it just, it was in the pamphlet so I just got them in there and there's another one about the 2023 Readers Awards um, shortlist or something, I'm guessing it's probably already gone but that and then this little um tiktok book awards one which looks quite cool and you can also put like a little reading list on there so 
that might be quite fun if because I want to do another like reading popular book talk books so maybe I can like go through and then see which ones come up a lot and then put it on there and then make a video or something but anyway it's just something to think about um and then finally we've all been waiting for drum roll please um we have Miss Marley by Vanessa Lafay I when I tell when I tell you I cannot wait to get this I can always get to this. Um, this is set before A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Um, and it is to do with Jacob Marley and his sister Clara, who are orphans, and um, about like Marley, like Jacob's like route into Christmas Carol and getting like working for Scrooge and like with Scrooge and stuff. Um, and it's meant to like be more focused on her. And I literally just cannot wait. Um, that is the burp if you're interested. It also just looks so, so pretty. Um, and yeah, but I do know that the author, I believe, died before she could finish his book. And the, another another person, Rebecca Maskell, um, like, I believe, finished it off. Um, but yeah, I just can't wait. And it's in like illustration as well. She so yeah um i'm definitely gonna be reading this very very soon before christmas hopefully um and stay tuned for a review of that so yeah so there are some of the books i got um while i was away and i also showed you before the ones i got when i was there before so yeah um i do hope you enjoyed today's video um and have a nice morning even night wherever you are in the world stay safe um and i shall see you very soon bye Thank you.